In terms of its usefulness in medicine, right now we're collecting so much data on ourselves through wearables and genetic sequencing and of course our medical records. Experts say the way to make sense of that all and to actually use it to improve medicine is going to be through artificial intelligence. Take a look. Already, digital ad technology can predict what we might buy. Soon, artificial intelligence may be able to predict what diseases we could get. The potential uh, is perhaps the biggest uh, of any type of technology we've ever had in the field of medicine. It's being worked on by tech giants from Google to IBM to Philips. So in many of the fields where we are in, we are using AI already. Um, in patient monitoring, we can predict hours in advance whether a, a patient will get a heart attack. Startups are proliferating as well. Researchers are training computers to analyze information from sensors, images, and language using a technology known as deep learning. We give it the image and we tell it that, okay, you know, these set of pixels represent cancer, while, you know, these other set of pixels uh, are not cancer. So can you learn how to distinguish between these two automatically? Without human inputs and with enough data, computers may make connections we're not capable of. Joel Dudley's team at Mount Sinai developed a system known as Deep Patient that mines anonymous health information on the millions of people in the hospital's database. It takes all of that data at a high level and starts recombining it in different ways and, and saying, are there hidden connections among these data that, might, that would allow us to better predict? Uh, for example, who's going to get type 2 diabetes. Many caution, though, it's early days, and the hype around artificial intelligence is significant. Hurdles from access to data to reimbursement to simply understanding how AI works abound. So there's a lot of work to be done here, but a survey from MIT actually says a lot of people expect computers to be the ones analyzing most medical images in less than a decade. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.